Hello, wonderful viewers. Did you get your morning dose of fluffiness? Dogs are indeed the most loyal friends we can ask for, and yet sometimes they leave us puzzled by the things they do. In today's video, we'll be discussing weird dog behavior that leaves us confused. Why did they just eat grass? What about sniffing butts? Why is your dog pacing in circles? We'll be discussing all this and more. Number one, dogs running in circles. Did they start pacing in circles out of nowhere? I hate to break it to you, but you should be concerned. Running in circles is a sign of many underlying problems for your pet. The most common form is when they're running after their tail. This means your dog has psychological, behavioral, or physical issues. You need to take them to the vet for a thorough checkup. Many dogs do this out of anxiety, fear, and frustration. It can also be due to a lack of physical exercise and or mental stimulation. This is your dog's way of dealing with stress and anxiety. Pay attention immediately. Have you ever witnessed your dog trying to catch its tail? How about similar weird behavior? How did you deal with it? When did it stop? Sound off in the comments section and share your experiences with the Bestie community. Number two, goat or not a goat? I still remember that one fine Sunday morning I took my dog for a walk and was shocked to see him munching on grass. It was like their ancestors were mountain goats. He ate it for like a few minutes. There are several reasons why dogs do this. Dogs eat grass to improve their digestion, fulfill unmet nutritional needs like lack of fiber, or treat intestinal parasites. There is a big misconception that dogs eat grass to induce vomiting. Experts suggest that less than 25% of dogs that eat grass vomit regularly. But there is also a case of a miniature poodle that ate grass every day for seven years and it would always vomit it out. This dog was put on a high fiber diet. Just three days in, the dog stopped eating grass altogether. And of course, you always have a few dogs that just love the taste of grass or the way it feels. Number three, butt sniffers. Has your dog ever embarrassed you by going straight for people's butts? Like you have a guest that loves dogs and wants to meet yours? Suddenly your cute, innocent pooch just decided to go straight for the butt sniffing. While it's really hard not to laugh, you just can't help but feel awkward. Butt sniffing for dogs is like handshakes for humans. This is how they socialize. This is much more normal than other forms of behavior on the list. I know what you're thinking. It's disgusting. Well, it's nature. There's a special organ in a dog's nose, the Jacobson's organ. This allows the dog to ignore that nasty smell. Relieved, aren't we? Number four, eating tissue paper. Do you feel the need to go the extra mile and guard your stuff from this eating habit? There could be a lot going on with your dog in this case. Take a closer look at what they're doing. Did they destroy the toilet paper for fun or did they eat it? When not exercised properly, dogs will resort to destructive behavior to exhaust their energy. They may also be extremely bored, but if it's eating the toilet paper on the regular, it has a condition called pica. Pica often develops when your pooch isn't getting the nutrients it needs from their regular diet, so they resort to eating non-food items hoping it'll provide these nutrients. Number five, squealing. Oh God, the whiners. Whining behavior is unpleasant regardless of who's doing it, though there are several reasons why dogs squeal and whine your dog might be letting you know it's bored and feeling neglected. This is a way of inviting you to play and grab your attention. Some do this out of fear and discomfort. Many dogs whine during greetings. This means they're rather enthusiastic about meeting the other people or dogs. And in case you have a dog like mine, congratulations, it's trained you. Mine will keep on whining until I get up and give him his favorite treat. And if not, I have to be ready to hear him squeal until the end of time. In case the whining is associated with other symptoms like panting, destroying stuff around doors and windows, and going to the bathroom while you're gone, your dog has separation anxiety. Dogs also squeal during pain, so get it checked by a vet to rule out medical causes. Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. Since you love your dog, watch and learn about the nine foods you shouldn't be feeding them. Number six, underwear thief. This one is funny and embarrassing. If you've been missing items like your laundry, you might wanna check your dog's bed. I'm not even kidding. One of my friends found her stash of underwear hidden beneath the couch. This is a spot most frequented by her dog. What a cute, innocent little creep, right? But the reason why your dog is more than interested in your underwear will only make you want to hug them harder. Your dog's trying to find comfort in your scent and wants to know you a bit better. It might be a bit much for you, but not for your lovely pooch. 
Your clothes carry a scent, especially underwear, thanks to the high amount of pheromones there. Science is pretty wild, right? Number 7. Feces Eaters Ew, why would a dog ever do this? As much as you and I are grossed out about this behavior, it's fairly common for dogs. You might see them eating their own, you know, or even that of other dogs. There's a name for this dirty habit, and it's coprophagia. It's derived from a Greek word and refers to the consumption of feces. This habit can be really difficult to break and more common when you have multiple pets at home. You might witness the submissive dog eating the feces of the dominant dog. There could be medical reasons as well like lack of nutrients, particularly vitamin B. So what's the best way to put a stop to this freakish habit? Make their feces taste gross to them. Add crushed pineapple or meat tenderizers to your dog's daily diet. This will help with the digestion and make them think it tastes gross. Number 8. Aggressive Clinging What? Your otherwise independent dog has turned into a clingy baby and won't leave your side even for a minute? What in the world? Many people think that dogs clinging to you is a sign of their love and affection, that they're expressing how much they adore you. Don't get me wrong, your dog definitely loves you, but aggressive clinging isn't the way. They do this for other reasons. Most of the time, it means they're anxious. Your dog might be dealing with separation anxiety. And of course, there are always a few dogs who would do this to get their owner's attention. Discourage it as soon as it starts. Give your dog its favorite toys. Let it exercise regularly and keep them busy. With positive reinforcement and proper training, you can get rid of this behavioral problem. Number 9. Weird Gestures While Sleeping How cute do dogs look when they're sleeping? They look even more adorable when they do funny movements with their ears. You might find your dog moving their paws while they sleep. Some even give out a short, whiny cry. None of these are things you need to be worried about, it's just your dog happily dreaming. They might be chasing bunnies and running after them in their sleep. That's how you get the aggressive paws. The little cry might be due to the tiny animal that just escaped from their grip. One serious note, dogs dream. Sometimes they dream so hard that they end up doing weird movements. Don't startle them by waking them up all of a sudden, you might get bitten. Have you ever caught your dog behaving weirdly? Did you know about any of these behaviors before watching this video? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.